Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing my 4th of July nails um, on my left hand. So first of all, on my left hand I have tips on and I have the Skyline Soapworks Clear over my nails and some peel off base. Um, you can see the clear is absolutely amazing and very, very clear. So it's definitely my favorite and I don't know if I can use another clear after this. Um, we're gonna be using Triple D liquids and I also am using the colors that I got in my subscription bag from Sparkle & Co. So I don't know what possessed me to do this glitter first. Um, you're gonna see me get glitter just like everywhere, I'm pretty sure. That this glitter is now one with everything in the house including the dog so yep I'm gonna start with the glitter don't know why but I'm doing it so what I'm gonna do is two full dips of the glitter on my thumbnail and my middle finger um, and it kind of gets everywhere because one really awesome thing about um, Sparkle & Co is that they fill their jars up to the tippy tippy top. So I'm just using this cupcake liner to kind of catch all of the glitter. But um, this color Lighthouse Cove, I mean, it is gorgeous. It's everything. Um, it also didn't like dry great. So um, I'm not like wiping it off right away. I ended up getting some of the glitter and some of the glue on my cute little brush there. Um, but I did like learn a trick to get it off. Um, I just basically take the brush and I rub it against the 100 grit side of my file and it gets all of that kind of like stuck on glue and glitter off the brush and it's like new. So um, I wasn't scared to use my cute brush because I know that I can always get that glitter off. Um, I don't know why I was having so much trouble with this glitter drying. I don't know if it was like the base or what, or maybe I just didn't like press the glitter down. I think that's probably what it was. I probably should have done that. Um, and I think you do see me get hip to that in my next dip. Um, towards the end there, I start to press down the glitters on my middle finger, but um, enjoy watching me make a huge glittery mess and I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. Apparently I cut the part where I was kind of like patting the glitter down on my thumb. So now I'm just going to take the glitter that spilled over into the cupcake liner and put it back in my jar so I can enjoy it later and getting more glitter everywhere. Um, I'm going to clear cap. Uh, I'm using my dip well clear to clear cap since the glitter is very glittery. Um, 
it's okay that I'm just using this clear that might not be as clear um, as the Skyline soap works because you won't even really see it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clear cap these nails um, and then I'm going to move on to the red nail. Here I'm going to be putting the red on my ring finger. Um, the red is called Nautical Chic and it's a really pretty color. Um, so I do end up um, getting a few glitters in there so you'll see me just kind of pick them out with the orange stick. Um, it was fine like I was able to just get rid of most of them. Um, but I learned a really valuable lesson about like clean up the glitter that's all over your workstation before you move on to your solid color. Um, you know, so everything's a little bit of a learning experience. Um, so I'm just going to do two dips of the red and then I'm going to clear coat in my scope, soap line Skyworks. Say that five times fast. Um, and then I'll be moving on to the blue nails. So the next color that I'm going to be using is called Navy PR. It's really beautiful. It's like this navy with some silver shimmers in it. Um, and I'm going to be doing that on my pointer finger and my pinky. So um, I just love this color. I actually have not worn blue on my nails in 
probably years. So it was really fun and I really loved it. Um, so I'm going to let you watch me do two coats of the navy pier on both my pointer finger and my pinky and then um, I'm going to clear cap in the dip well which is kind of like my glitter clear right now um, and then I'll be back for decals. All right, so I'm back. This is the stickers, um, the sticker sheet that came with the Sparkle & Co sub bag. And I'm taking some 
um, little hearts and placing them on my ring finger. So before I am placing these on, I did like a layer of um, base gel. Um, so they kind of had like a sticky surface to sit into. And then I, I'm gonna clear all of my nails with, um, with another gel. So I placed the first sticker and now I'm placing the little navy striped one. Um, and then I'm gonna be placing the third sticker, which is another little white sticker. And these stickers are really thin. Um, I actually ripped this one and the heart is like part of a heart and not the full thing. So what I ended up doing was a little troubleshooting here and I had some white um, Model Ones gel polish. So I ended up taking my orange stick and basically just completing the little heart with the white gel polish um, to make it complete because I only had half a heart. So after I did that, I'm ready for my gel top coat and I'm using Nail Addict's um, gel top coat. I also use that as the base gel coat and I love this gel coat. I think it is the best. Um, it really works and I never have any problems with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my gel top coat on all my nails and then give them a cure. And then it's time for some um, cuticle oil. So I'll be back for that. I went ahead and cured my nails for 60 seconds and now I'm ready for cuticle oil. I got this really yummy pumpkin souffle cuticle oil from uh, Skyline Soapworks. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, it smells so good. I'm a sucker for anything pumpkin, so I couldn't help myself. Um, I really like it. And so I'm just going to rub this into my cuticles and then... I will be drinking some Pinot Grigio that I'll show you and I'll tell you a little bit about. So um, I love this step. I'm, I think I'm addicted to cuticle oil now. I have to have it on my nails at all times. And there's my finished Maddie. So today I'm drinking this delicious Pinot Grigio. Um, it's an Italian wine. I got this from a wine pack um, that we got from, I think, Splash Wines. Um, and then here's some natural light pictures of my manicure. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's very patriotic and really cute. So thanks for watching.